What is up people, welcome to Camerahead Studios. This is our review of Kingdom Hearts 2.8. What is our thoughts on the game? Is it worth getting? Remember to like and subscribe and also share this with your friends. And if you subscribe, you get to see more content on this channel, so please remember to do that. Also comment down your thoughts on the game, whether or not you liked it or not. Anyway, let's get on with the review. Are we to abandon all of them? <laughs> Come on! Telling me that you think the world can be saved by just seven people? 2.8 covers three events in the story. The first one is Kingdom Hearts Keyback cover, a movie that follows the story of the Foretellers a little bit before the Keyblade War. We introduce to each individual character in smaller subplots, with well done voice acting, each character is given a purpose in the plot. Though still leaves many things ambiguous, it's a solid film with great animation, however the story is very confusing. The second is 0.2 Birth by Sleep, which covers the events of Aqua in the Realm of Darkness. This plays an important role as literally being a prologue to Kingdom Hearts 3. Though short, it's a good look at Kingdom Hearts 3 in the future. The next part is Dream Drop Distance, an HD remaster from an exclusive 3DS title. In this, the main character Sori Riku must take the Mark of Master exam in order to gain new abilities in order to defeat Master Xehanort in the future. By doing this, they must travel through the realm of sleep in order to wake up worlds that were trapped in darkness. My thoughts is DDD's story is... it adds a lot more lore than leaves a lot more questions in my opinion. The gameplay for Dream Drop Distance remained unchanged for the most part. The only noticeable changes are the graphics and the frame rate. The graphics receive a really good cleanup to make it seem like it wasn't even on the 3DS. The game clocks in at a smooth 60 frames per second, which is very pleasing. However, some controls from the 3DS does not translate well with the PS4, such as using a touchpad to interact with the Dream Readers. I believe that's why Reality Shift doesn't use it. 0.2 gameplay is probably the best thing on this game. Though short, it's probably the closest we're getting to Kingdom Hearts 3 for now. I'm upset that the game can only clock around 60 frames per second if you have the PlayStation Pro, while other games can run 60 frames fine on a basic PS4. Also in 0.2, you also have objectives that you can do throughout the game, giving the game a little bit more replayability. Other than that, let's move on to my final verdict. <sighs> this place... Is it the Chamber of Waking? Yes. <laughs> My final thoughts is that this game is fun with 0.2 and Dream Drop Distance. And I also enjoy Kingdom Hearts back cover with its story, animation, and great voice acting. However, back cover leaves me ambiguous and it doesn't really make me feel like I want to play Unchained Key or Kingdom Hearts Key on the browser. I feel like Square was going for that and I feel like they failed with me personally. If they felt good with you, I hope you enjoy it. 0.2 gameplay is easily the best part of the game. DDD serves as for those who didn't want to buy a 3DS. I believe 2.8 is a good purchase, but at $40. $60 is way too high if you're only getting an HD remaster, a demo, and a one hour film. So I will have to give 2.8 a 3.5 out of 5.